Your, your, uh, the Toronto mayor, Rob Ford, has been in the news yes. all the time. He smokes crack a lot. Apparently. <laughs> and you don't even have to say allegedly because he'll tell you. Oh, yeah, he, he seems to be open about it. Yeah. He's, he's leaning into the wave. What's weird is like... Um, <laughs> I did go on the Tonight Show ride. We, yeah. I think, we got an email, I think you emailed Higgins. I emailed Higgins while I was waiting in the writing room for the ride. And I was like, this is amazing. What's the review uh, of the... It was incredible. I thought it would suck yeah. because <laughs> a ride based on a talk show yeah. sounds terrible. <laughs> um, you go to Toronto and it's like, it's really a beautiful city that is very well running, a lot better than a lot of non-mayor crack smoking cities I've been to <laughs> in my life. Like Detroit is right across the river and their mayor doesn't smoke crack, but maybe he should. Can <laughs> um, I steal your seat? Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Take a seat. Look at yeah. the beard you're growing, my God. It's a fucking monster, isn't it? I yes. love it. It's a good one. I absolutely love it. Thank you, I'm a little... You know, stress. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that smoking crack may be beneficial to serving as mayor? I'm saying you don't associate crack with laziness at all. <laughs> uh, I recently read a story about how you met Tom Cruise once. Yes. Several times. Uh, yeah. Oh, right, of course. But you well, you introduced him to something that he had never been introduced to before. Yeah, he had never, he didn't know internet pornography existed. Okay. Like, and now is this, did you go to his home? Yeah, not to tell him that. Right. But I went, uh, like. <laughs> I know you get this a lot, but you, you, what was it, purple? What was it, cookies? What were you smoking when you wrote this, man? Like, it just. A lot of stuff over the years. Yeah. A lot of various substances went into the making of this film. Piano, keyboard, famous scene from Big. Yes. You do it to Kanye West's Runaway. We do, yeah. And um, that's, which is fantastic. It's great. I love Kanye West. I love Kanye West as well. He's the best. You might have. We don't love him as much as Kanye West loves Kanye West. We'll never West. get there. <laughs> we'll never get there. And so, yeah, and so the movie's called Walkers. Uh, that, I'm bad. I, but our movies but they have put like a chicken there. They put instead. a chicken instead of the word because you can't say but you right. can put a chicken instead of that, which again is just crazy. It's ridiculous. Then it's chicken blockers. It's about parents. <laughs> it's chicken blockers. <laughs> What's the dopest dope you've ever smoked? <sighs> That's a good question. Um, I mean, weed in L.A. is really fucking good. Yeah. They have great yeah. weed in L.A. Uh, uh, in Amsterdam, they have very... I'm from Vancouver, where they have incredible weed. Um, I do Snoop Dogg's show every once in a while. Yeah, and yeah. last time I did it, I literally had to sit in my car for 45 minutes before I drove home. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't go into a movie with a title that's strong, then the studio becomes a big part of the conversation oh, as right? to what the title is. And and what we wound up with was... was Blockers. <laughs> and I make I made a movie called Sausage Party, and even I'm like blockers is crazy. Yeah. It had a website, theroommovie.com. There was a phone number, and you would call it, and you didn't need to, because you could just go to the theater and buy tickets. Because <laughs> and the phone number was just Tommy's phone number, and he would just answer the phone and just say, like, are you coming to movie? And he would be like, Yeah, I'm coming to the movie. And he'd be like, Great, see you there. Um, you don't know what they're forbidden to make. There's a lot of suspense Finally, involved. Finally, this is the last one. I this think is this is the greatest thing, the best movie title of any of my movies ever in Taiwan, Operation Chicken Container. <laughs> and I always, I do this a lot where I like do really mean things to other celebrities, never thinking I'm going to see them one right, day yeah. and have to deal with it. <laughs> Like, I literally, I've said horrible things about Justin Bieber for years, and then all of a sudden, I'm like face-to-face -face with him on a talk show. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and uh, it was it was true. And, like, we had to keep writing into the scenes that I, like, touched his body because, like, they, I would just look at it and want to just reach out and touch it <laughs> as though it was a mirage or some sort. Uh, he's the sexiest mother <laughs> All right, hey, hey.